Hi, my name is Akash Malla and I'm a technical consulting engineer for compute and hyperflex in Cisco systems. This video describes types of UCSM backups and how to create a backup operation in UCSM GUI. When you perform a backup through Cisco UCS manager, you take a snapshot of all or part of system configuration and export the file to a location on your network. You cannot use Cisco UCS manager to backup data on the servers. You can perform a backup while the system is up and running. The backup operation only saves information from the management plane. It does not have any impact on the server or network traffic. Launch the UCS manager and log in with your credentials. Go to admin tab, select general section under all and select backup configuration. In the backup configuration dialog box, click the create backup operation. We will find four types of backup configurations, full state, all configuration, system configuration, and logical configuration. Let's look at the creation of full state backup. Full state backup will be a binary file that includes snapshot of the entire system. We can use generated file to restore the system during disaster recovery. We cannot use this file for import operations. In the create operation dialog box, we need to complete the following field. In the admin state field, we can either select enable or disable. When we select enable, the UCS manager will run the backup operation as soon as we click OK. When we select disable, the Cisco UCS manager does not run the backup operation. We must manually run the backup from the backup configuration dialog box. We will select full state backup type location of the backup file, which can be remote file system or local file system. In remote file system, the backup file will be saved to the remote server and it allows us to specify the protocol, host name, remote file, user and password for the remote system. In local file system, file will be saved locally. Here, we will choose local file system and provide the file name ending with .pin and select OK. We can see that the backup file is getting generated. Now backup file is successfully downloaded to the default download folder and we'll click OK. We can see the full state backup file has been generated and we can validate same in FSM details. We will click on OK to close the backup configuration dialog box. Similarly, we can create other types of backup operations like all configuration an XML file that includes all system and logical configuration settings, then system configuration, which is an XML file that includes all system configuration settings, such as usernames, roles, and locales. A logical configuration is another example, which is an XML file that includes all the logical configuration settings, such as service profiles, VLANs, vSANs, pools, and policies. Please note preserve identities checkbox is available for all configuration, system configuration and logical configuration type of backup operation. If this checkbox is not selected, the identities will be reassigned and user labels will be lost after a restore. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.